Hey G Squad, welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we have this cool, amazing product right here in my hand. And basically what this is, is a UV light sterilizer or sanitizer. So what you guys need to do is just basically put this into like a room and just turn it on. And it should sterilize or sanitize the whole entire room. But it depends on how big the room is and it also depends on how long you guys keep it on. So based on what they said for the product itself, if you guys use it for like small rooms like bathroom, you should only have it on for around like 30 minutes or so to be fully effective. It's suggested to put it a little bit longer is better because that way actually it's more effective. But this is kind of like what the product looks like right here. Let's open up and see what the product looks like before we test it out. All right, so when you guys open up the product, this is what it looks like inside there. So what's really cool about this product is the fact that it's super light. So as you can see that it's well protected and everything. Inside the product itself, they do give you guys instruction manual or user manual to teach you guys how to use the product itself. So as you can see right here, it tells you guys what each part is and where the button and what each button does. But let's take a look at the product first. All right, so when we open up this part here, this is basically what it looks like, if I can see. So they provide you guys remote that you can use up to like three feet or so. And right here, we have the actual product itself. It is pretty small and compact, so it doesn't waste a lot of space. It's just the packaging itself is pretty big because they needed to protect the product from being uh, broken or cracked or anything, like this part right here. So this is basically what the product looks like if it's in C. This is the cable that they use to plug it in to charge it and activate it. You do have the button right here to activate it here as well to turn it off and on. But let me actually take this part off first so you can see it better. All right, so when you take it out, you can see the button right there. And then also on the other side here as well, you can see there's four buttons here. So this is a reset button, 30 minutes button, 60 minute button, and a 120 minute button. So depending on the room that you guys are planning to use this in, that's how long you guys want to keep it for. So I'm probably gonna test this in the bathroom so I don't need any more than like 30 minutes or so. And you see the product itself is well protected right here. So I want to take this part out first. All right, so just like that. And then for this part, you guys can actually rotate it if you guys need to, like on top right here, if you want to push it out like that. You guys can see. So you can push it all the way up like that if you guys want to. Whereas then pull it back down just like this so that definitely is a cool feature how you guys can actually move it to different angles if you guys want to so that is basically what the product looks like right here let me show you guys the remote so you see the off and on button right there there's a 30 minute 60 minute and a 120 minute right there and then on the back side right here they do have the slot where you have to put in the battery if you open it up you guys can see that's the battery that is provided for you guys and that's the one you guys need to use but that is basically everything that's on the product itself. Let's actually go try this out first and see when actually it works and how to use it first. And then we'll come back and talk more about the product in a second. All right, so this is basically what the product looks like before we set it up and plug it in. Let's plug it in and then we're gonna turn it on and see what it looks like. Obviously when I plug it in and turn it on, I won't be in the room just for safety reasons and everything. So I'm gonna actually plug this in first and then we're gonna turn it on. So once you click the button to activate it, this is what it looks like right here. And this is what it looks like on this side. So 30 minutes, reset button, and then whatever on here. And once you guys click on the button right here for a time, it actually will count down. But if you guys use the remote, it will do it instantly. So once the product is done, you do want to let it air out a little bit because it's going to be very smelly. All right, welcome back guys. So now I saw the quick test of the product itself and see it actually does work. Um, obviously I can't really show you guys like the viruses or the germs and everything being killed or like spread out or whatever. I don't have that scientific background or like, the right equipment to test it out and show you guys, but you guys can definitely see the light turns on and everything. It does look effective. So obviously when you guys use the product itself, you do not want to be in that room and you do not want to look inside the room when you guys are using it. So make sure the doors are closed and nobody goes in and out that room because the UV light would definitely cause harm to your eyes, your body, your skin or whatever. If you guys do look at the UV light like over time a lot, so don't do that. But definitely a really cool feature of the actual product itself, how you guys can turn it on manually on the product or you guys can turn it off manually with the actual remote. But now that we do unboxing and testing the product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I definitely have to say that these are worth it because one more need one of these, especially if you guys are in like a huge office space or like a conference room or something, you want to definitely like sterilize or sanitize the space so other people can go in. So that way there's like no germs or whatever inside that room. 
And you guys can definitely use this at your home, like in the bedroom and bathroom as well, just like how I showed you guys just now as well. So I would definitely have to say that it's worth it if you guys want one or need one of these. But then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have this one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. But other than that, that's pretty much it for unboxing and testing for myself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. It'll definitely help this video and channel out. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.